to me, the biggest threat comes from the possibility of sea surf attacks. So this is when a malicious website might hijack the authentication or lack thereof to your smart home controller and exploit vulnerabilities in it. On the HTTP interfaces, we've seen that there's command injection that gives you root access, SQL injection that can be used to escalate to root access, and also in one case we found that there was a lack of SSL certificate validation. So communications that should have been private going back up to the vendor's infrastructure were in fact not private. I definitely think that um, crowdsourced bug hunting is a good idea, so the bug bounties, but also having an internal team that's actually sitting there looking at your product and trying to find all the different ways that they can subvert it, and then not simply discrediting some of the things because they're less likely, but just taking the defense in depth approach because a minor vulnerability one day might snowball into something much bigger later in the presence of other issues. People making stupid decisions is definitely the biggest threat. People not changing the passwords on their routers and I mean at this point we have so many embedded devices out there on the internet that can be readily exploited that it might outweigh the number of legitimate computers on the internet which could seriously undermine people's confidence in e-commerce and development of this technology. Music